This is for you, Klaus, because I know how much you love it. Once again, mayhem and destruction. There we go, 415. Let's see how long it takes. There we are. Take a shot of that. It's actually 418 now. And there we go. So it was 418 when I went to the clock. I don't want you to see that. That's future projects. Exactly 15 minutes, right? I'm not trying to nag you guys, but you can't complain about a dirty or a, not dirty because this garage is always dirty. I have grind and beat and drip and you know oil and filings and stuff in here, but it's tidy. I think of you, Klaus. Right, that rag was on the counter there. So if they're not too bad, I hang them on the vise there. And then these are the little parts that I'm not, I put these in the parts bins in the shed, but I just haven't got around to it. So I, I just put them here as a reminder as I go out the door to uh, clean things up. Klaus Lundberg sent me a little package here. I'm going to just cut across the top very carefully. Oh, he said he was going to do this. This, this is the name of his channel, Hobby Motor. And he is, most of his uh, videos are in Danish, which I love to watch because my grandmother and my mother could speak Danish. Well, my grandmother was from Denmark. Snacka Dansk. Snacka, snacka, snacka. And uh, so he has sent me a couple of tools. And you guys have to pay attention. Whenever Klaus sends you a tool, it's going to be a good one. And remember, I just did a video on a Walbro carburetor, and I, and I said I like to keep the... the uh, needle and seat just a tiny bit below grade on the on the height and look at that I don't know if you can tell but that goes on the on the needle and then this goes on the outside of the carburetor and you set your set your needle height now there's no more guessing and this is a Zama one same thing look at that little drop I think that's a Zama Hobby Motor, go to closest channel and uh, enjoy. He is a smart guy. Uh, if I've got chainsaw questions, I go to him or Steve from Steve Small Engines. Those two guys are are probably the the gurus of. Oh, I see the whole one. They're the gurus of small engine repair. So now what I do is I take the and I put them in my oh, wrong door. I put them in my drawer of small engine tools. And let's just put those down over there. All of the, most of these tools have been given to me by subscribers. Can you believe that? So thanks, Klaus. That didn't take very long. You know, you said you were gonna send me those and uh, they were here. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Gotta clean my benches up now. Here we go. Thanks, Klaus. Well, there. I opened your envelope, Steve, and I stuck this up there. Thank you. And I'm just gonna turn turn you off and come back to the table. So this is the envelope I got from Steve. Too cool. Now, one in one of these was a business card, Steve Small Engine Saloon, and that guy is on every. He's got a website. He's on Facebook. He's on Twitter, Instagram. You bet. He's everywhere.
so look what I got from Steve. His business card. Now Walbro, he's been really working with Walbro a lot lately. And I'm going to buy some of those new Walbro spark plugs for small engines. It's a new product and I think they're made by Autolite. And of course a couple of cool Staybill uh, stickers, which is what I use. And uh, yeah, so thanks my friend. It was, it was a real pleasure to get, you know, when you get something in the mail, that's just the greatest, isn't it? Look at that, he even signed the back, man. So you rock, Steve. I got to think of uh, a nice place to put this. Some of these stickers. And I'm happy that I use Walro stuff and I use Staybill stuff. So when I put up the stickers, I'm not lying to anybody, right? Thanks a lot.